Hello! In today's video we're going to be looking at three separate tools, all of which work hand in hand. First of all the revolving top pin vise, also known as a pin drill, along with the drill bits in this lovely 20 piece set, and the mini bench vise. So we're going to begin with the micro box, the set of 20 miniature drill bits. And it comes to you in this um, plastic wallet, which is probably rather unnecessary. But whenever I get anything um, with superfluous packaging, I always have a think about what could I do with it. And when I was thinking about this, I think this would be really good material um, to make some 112th scale, um, maybe a, a toiletries bag. Um, you could perhaps make a beach bag. It's, it's actually quite nice um, material, so I'm going to put that in my drawer with all my other um, materials which may come in useful one day. And we'll certainly look at doing some tutorials um, using this material at a later date. So let's just slide that out of there. Okay, so along the top edge of the box there, you've got the drill bit sizes, ranging in size from 0.3 millimetres up to 1.6 millimetres. Now I'm not sure of the um, inch measurements there, but 1.5 millimetres is 1 16th of an inch, so it goes up just slightly larger than that. And to remove um, the bit, you would push back this tab at the end here to unlock um, the plastic cover, and then you would just slide it along so that this little hole here at the top is directly underneath the bit that you want to remove and then you would just simply tip it out like so pop that back in close that like that and lock it now I probably use these sort of middle size um, drill bits more than anything else but I I probably have in the sort of I don't know, 10 years that I've had my um, micro box used all of them um, for various different projects. So they will come, they will all come in useful. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the revolving top pin vise now, or pin drill, they're also known as. And again, comes in this plastic sleeve, which again, probably isn't really necessary. Um, but I shall keep this as well in my materials drawer and try and find a use for that um, at some point. So the revolving part is this um, top part, which is sort of like a big um, bolt. And then you would, to change the um, drill bit, you would dismantle it here. And then in here you have a drill bit holder. And you've actually got two of those. The other one is in this top part. There like that. And the idea for that is that they each take um, different sized drill bits. So you've got four different holes there. And your smallest one will take from the 0.3 bit. Just trying to see which one is the smallest one. Yes, it's that one. The 0.3 millimetre bit up to the one millimetre bit and then the next size up will take from obviously 1.2 up to the 1.6 and then you've got from 1.6 to 2 millimetres and then from 2 millimetres up to 3 millimetres so this this actual um, pin vise will take bits from 0.3 millimeters up to three millimeters which is one eighth of an inch now that's probably larger than you'll ever use for your miniature work but again I've actually used that for other projects um, so it does come in handy to have the option to use um, the bigger bits inside now I'm going to start by putting in a smaller bit so I'm going to put that back in the top there in the handle and screw that in and then pop that in there and you can actually just pop that on top but without tightening it and I'm going to take a bit there in the centre I'll take the 0.75 which is the, the one that I use the most of and I use that for creating holes for the pin hinges so you then slot that into the centre of the holder 
and you don't need to go all the way up to sort of where the um, ridges start but certainly I would tuck half of it in if you leave it too long they have a tendency to snap especially these finer bits so begin tightening and I'm sure you all know how to do this I'm sure you've all done this before but I'll just go through the process so start tightening and then before you go completely tight just make sure that the bit is nice and straight in there and level and then you can tighten it up as tight as you can go you need that to be in there really tight nice and solid and then I've just got a piece of scrap wood here and I hold on to the um, sort of spinning bit at the top there you come in a little bit and then I twist with this central part don't twist on either that bit or that bit as you'll just be opening it up again so just twist there on the central part once your wood starts spinning it means it's through and then rather than just pulling it out just twist it up again like so so a really really handy little tool I use mine on a daily basis I would say for creating um, holes for making pin hinged doors I also um, use the mini drill for in fact if you've watched my videos you'll see that I use it for making the holes to take the draw knobs or door knobs I also use it in my sinks to make the plug hole and the overflow holes so in miniature work there's certainly so many um, uses for this tool so for drilling um, just into flat pieces of wood you can obviously do that on your desktop but if you're drilling into um, strip wood or dowel or where you're making for example a door where you would need in to drill into the thin um, edge of the wood then you will need your um, bench vise so we're going to look at that tool now so your mini bench vise will come to you in a little box and I don't know about you but I can always find a use for card or even boxes um, I always recycle when I'm packing up my Etsy orders so if you ever order something from there you'll probably find it comes in recycled packaging so let's just pop that out and the vise will come to you in two parts so you've got the little um, handle will come separate and you just need to slot that in that's very easy and it's in this part here now it's got a little um, sort of lip at either end which will actually keep it in place once it's in there so you may find it quite difficult to get in but do persevere because it will go in and I find it goes in easier if you twist as you push it in just sort of jiggle it as you're going in with it and then that sits in there and that's how you open and close the jaws so you've got a jaw capacity there of 30 millimeters and that's one and three sixteenths of an inch and you've got a width there of 40 millimeters which is one and nine sixteenths of an inch so again probably wider um, on both counts than you'll ever need for your miniature work and then down here this is where it um, clips onto your desk and I have mine attached to my desk all the time um, again I, because I use it so often I just always have it there but if you only use it occasionally you can um, just put that onto the desk and remove it as and when you need to and this capacity is 20 millimeters so that's three quarters of an inch and that should be sort of standard for any sort of desk that you would use inside okay so we'll attach that to the desk now and then I'll show you how I use mine so the bench vise will attach easily um, to the edge of your work surface so just slot it on like that and then tighten up that bottom screw tight as you can so it's nice and secure and so that it's pushed right against the desk there I'm sorry if the camera's wobbling but I've got it balanced on my knees for this bit and that's nice and firmly in place 
And then just a little tip and something I like to do, I always put a piece of um, folded kitchen towel into the jaws first, um, which sort of prevents the vice um, when it's tightened from damaging your piece of wood, especially when you're working with soft wood, you'll find that the vice will leave marks on it. So I'll just pop a little bit of um, kitchen towel in there like that. And I'm just going to drill a hole into a um, piece of strip wood for example purposes. So pop that in there and then tighten up the jaws and again you want to go as tight as possible so that this isn't going to wiggle around when you're drilling into it. Like that, And then bring the pin drill back in again and normally I would have made a pencil mark on there according to where I want my hole. So just pop your drill over the top of it, hold on again and twist and that's nice and secure in there as it's going through. Keep your drill upright. If you're using thinner wood the bit can tend to sort of break through the wood if, if you have it at an angle. And then again don't just pull that out but twist it back up like so. And then you can remove the piece of wood that you're working on and I leave that piece of um, kitchen towel in there all the time until it gets really raggy and then I just replace it with a new piece. I hope you've enjoyed this latest video in the My Favourite Tools series. If these are pieces that perhaps you hadn't used before, I hope you found the video helpful. All of these items are available for sale in my Etsy shop, along with lots of other tools. And the tools I sell in the shop are all tools that I use um, on a regular basis um, for my miniature work. And as well, tools that I feel are the best quality tools for the job. And I always advise to buy the best quality that you can afford as they'll last you a lot longer and they'll do the job better. And certainly with my um, pin drill and bits and my desk vice, um, I've had them probably for longer than 10 years and haven't had to replace them um, in that time. They're all still in perfectly good work in order. I'll pop a link um, to the Etsy shop below and I aim to dispatch all orders within three to five days and I'll let you know through Etsy when the orders are dispatched. So for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.